So this one isn't so much like Ariana versus Katie, but more of what's going on with the situation with their sandwich shop, something about her. And I'm going to basically say where I think Katie Maloney went really, really wrong. You know, let's, I'll, I'll break it down where I think Katie did a huge misstep. We'll get into it. So this is from the U.S. Sun. It says, bad sign. Ariana Maddox and Katie Maloney sandwich shop signs and front patio all taken down as opening date now on hold. The Vanderpump Rule stars are focused are, are forced to redo their entire front patio after new city limits were put in place. Yeesh. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, I had, I had to breathe. Okay. Something about her opening date has been put on pause, as the U.S. Sun reported, due to ongoing health department issues and Ariana's commitment to performing on Broadway in New York City for the next few months. Okay. We don't even really need to read the rest of the article, but we will. <laughs> but if you guys have your candy cane critical thinking hats on, does this sentence make sense to you? Something about her opening date has been put on pause, as the U.S. Sun reported, due to ongoing health department issues and Ariana's commitment to performing on Broadway in New York City for the next few months. One of these things are not like the other. Let's read between the lines. Why would something about her opening date have to be put on pause simply because Ariana is performing on Broadway? That doesn't make any sense. Pretty sure Katie could oversee the design and the food and, you know, the inspections and everything like that, you know, with Ariana weighing in here and there because this has always been Katie's baby. Always been Katie's baby. It's also saying due to ongoing health department issues. Now, I think the real issue is... Ariana doesn't want to do it anymore. And they're using the excuse of ongoing health department issues and permits and all of this stuff. Because why would you put in the same sentence, ongoing health department issues and Ariana dancing on Broadway? Doesn't make any sense to me. To me, this is like a cover up. It's like we're trying to conflate two different things. Because I'm pretty sure that... A lot of people own restaurants. Like, look, like for example, Lisa Vanderpump. She owns Pump. She did own Villa Banca. You know, Sir. She was on Dancing with the Stars. She was on, you know, by uh, Beverly Hills. She didn't put everything on hold because she had to go do a show. No, she had every everybody around her do it. This doesn't make any sense. But let's keep going. Now another major problem has come to the forefront, a makeover of the entire front patio of Ariana and Katie's West Hollywood Cafe. Back in June, the U.S. Sun obtained photos of what the exterior of Something About Her looked like at the time. There was a Something About Her sign, a yellow and white awning, and a square-shaped patio for outdoor dining that was situated in the front of the store. The U.S. Sun has learned why the patio and sign had to be taken down after appearing ready to be open. The front patio at that location was there for years when it was Headley's restaurant, and it was there without proper city permits, a source told the U.S. Sun. After the remodeling, Katie and Ariana learned that permit laws had changed and that they had to take down their sign and break down their entire front patio. Now, what's seen in the photos obtained by the Sun is an empty sidewalk in front of something about her with the sign and awning no longer there. As of December, the Vanderpump Rules stars had to file a new permit with the city of West Hollywood, proposing a different outdoor dining area and a new canopy that's permissible within limits, as indicated by signage on the front door. The drawings that were submitted for the new outdoor dining space don't look the same as it was before the source revealed. They're not giving up hope since the outdoor dining area would be beneficial to the business and will allow for more seating, for more seating space. What's taking time? Aside from the exterior, there are other issues that have to be resolved before opening. For one, the flooring needs a whole new makeover. 
blah, 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 blah. It goes into like the health department said that the floor is not open. So now all of a sudden after spending 300K on a build out, they have to redo everything is what apparently is going on. The source continued, it's a cluster F. It's a lot of black back and forth with city officials. Taking over this location has been bad luck from the beginning. It's like it's been jinxed because it's always something new. Mm -hmm. Then it goes in to talk about, you know, what's going on. It has some interior photos. I mean, the inside looks really, really cute and everything. Anticipating opening, the process of getting something about her to open all began as far back as July 2021 when an LLC was filed. Bravo fans have been eager to visit the shop, especially after getting a sneak peek of it on last season of Vanderpump Rules. Co-stars Lala Kent, Tom Schwartz, and Shana Shea have all gotten a bite of the tasting menu. Okay. This is the thing. Don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining, okay? <laughs> Don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining. Again, why would the article then go on to talk about permits and signage and LLCs and the waiting on the waiting on the city and tasting menus and all of that stuff. Why would the article go on to talk about all of that? But in that very first sentence, like I said, why would it bring up Ariana's commitment to performing on Broadway in New York City for the next few months? Why include that sentence at all, unless that was the actual reason? Word on the street is this. Something about her is basically Shorts and Sandy's part two. Ariana being Sandoval and Katie being Schwartz. This is where I think Katie went wrong. Partnering with Ariana in the first place. Katie, Ariana don't like you, boo-boo. She don't like you. She don't. Ariana was mean to Katie standoffish to Katie, not nice to Katie, all under the guise of, well, Tom's, Tom doesn't like her. I can never get close to her and blah, blah, blah. She'd be like fake nice to her, but we all knew she didn't really like her. We would see what she said in confessionals. You know, we would see how they treated her because she would, because she was with Tom. Tom didn't like Lala. She was mean to Lala. Tom didn't like Katie. She was mean to Katie, but she was nice to, uh, what's her face? Rachel, because Tom liked Rachel. Where did that get you? Never go into business. I'm not saying you have to be friends, but sure as hell don't be enemies. Never go into business with someone that you know doesn't like you. I don't know if Katie just missed the memo. I don't know if it went over Katie's head. I don't know if Katie stopped watching the damn show. But why would you go into business with someone who doesn't like you? And if you do happen to go into business with somebody who doesn't like you, and then you see season nine or season eight, whichever season it was, season eight or season nine, when Katie and Ariana were supposed to meet with Randall. This was before Randall got exposed for all of his shenanigans. This was before Randall um, and, and Lala split. This was during the time when Randall was still making the money and was, you know, the connector guy. This was when he was in his heyday. Go back and watch when they were supposed to meet with Randall because they were going to, they were pitching him the idea to see if he would be an investor in something about her. And when Katie got to the meeting and Ariana was a no-show, she ended up showing up later, but she was really late. It looked, it was extremely unprofessional. And it was extremely disrespectful, not just to Randall, but to Katie. If I'm with my business partner and we have a meeting with an investor and my business partner shows up late with an attitude like I'm better than this because all of a sudden Tom Sandoval had to have her sign some papers about refinancing their home mortgage. Wonder how that turned out for you, Ariana. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? And then Ariana in the confessional again, was so nasty and was like, yeah, well, now I only pay this much every month in mortgage or some of that. (laughs) Not like, oh my gosh, like I'm so embarrassed. I feel bad. I should have, you know, told Tom to reschedule. 
I should have shown up on time. You know, I feel really bad for making Katie wait because, you know, wh what I do looks bad for us. She had that nasty attitude. I don't know if Katie didn't watch that episode or what. But the moment I saw that, I was like, that shop will never open and it's doomed. Because that is a huge disrespect and lack of just regard for someone that you are about to embark on a very huge endeavor with. Opening up a restaurant is a huge endeavor, huge and you have that kind of smug, nasty attitude. That told me everything I needed to know. And I was like, it's doomed. And you guys remember, I did a whole video on it. I said five times um, Ariana betrayed Katie is something about her doomed. It's on my YouTube channel. Just just um, type in the search. Something about her doomed, Candy Washington, Lala, or Ariana, Katie. It'll pop up. I predicted it. So Katie's number one misstep, don't ever go into business with somebody who doesn't like you. And to quote Maya Angelou, when people show you who they are, believe you. If it were me and I had already gone in business with Ariana and she showed up late for an investor meeting with that nasty condescending attitude, and then I saw that confessional, I would have dissolved the partnership right then and there. I either would have continued. Katie should have done one of two things. She should have done the, 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 the sandwich shop on her own and figure it out how to do it by herself. There's a lot of people who go who have investors and board members, but they do it on their own. Or I would have found a different partner. I would not have partnered with her. I would not have partnered with her because it's not just about disrespecting the investor. You're disrespecting me. And you are showing me exactly how you feel about me. And what I don't play with is my time and my money. Forget the little friendship crap. Don't, don't, don't mess with my time and don't mess with my money. I would have dissolved it right then and there. And the reason why I think Katie and Ariana are so close this season is one, I think Katie now realizes, holy crap. I am partnering with someone who doesn't care about the business and who doesn't care about me. One second, you guys. <clears throat> I'm trying to hang. I'm trying to hang. All right. I think Katie is fearful of losing the business altogether. And what is that? Uh, oh, my gosh, you guys. What is that theorem or principle or philosophy? It's, it's something some where it's like, you have the false, it's a fallacy where you have the false belief that I've invested so much that I can't get out now that you just keep digging yourself deeper and deeper and deeper when the reality is it's better to cut bait and just cut your losses now than keep digging yourself deeper and deeper into the hole. I can't think of it. It's like something, some, it's some theorem or some philosophy. But that's where I think Katie is. I think Katie is scared to cut bait. But I think that's what she needs to do. Because like this article basically told us without telling us, something about her is that opening because Ariana is booked and busy. Why would they add that one sentence to this article that she's off performing in Broadway and then talk about permits and licenses and LLCs and this, that, and the third and awnings? Why would you add that at all? Wouldn't you just say, Something about her delayed because of city permits. Why would you even add that part? They didn't say because Katie, because Katie is out here doing, you know, emo nights and concerts. <laughs> they didn't talk about that. You know what I mean? Because Katie is out here with fake lesbian story and storylines. They didn't say anything like that. It told us what it needed to tell us without out coming out and saying it. Katie, you in danger. Another reason why I think Katie and Ariana are close is because, and again, this is where Katie is making a huge mistake. Katie is staying loyal to Ariana with the Scandival thing. Yes, because of how Tom did her, did Ariana, but I think more so because of how Tom has always done her. So 
the reason why I think Katie gets so mad at Sheena for wanting to be friends with Tom is because of how dirty Tom has done her. And to be honest with you, this might be an unpopular opinion, but it's just how I feel. I think Tom Sandoval has done Katie Maloney way dirtier than he did Ariana. I don't care. Not that I don't care he cheated on her. I don't mean it that way. I get he cheated on her. I get it was with Rachel. But I think in totality of the, at this point, Katie was was with Tom Schwartz for 12 years. They've been 12 to 14 years, right? Because they've known each other since, they're all like late 30s, early 40s. And they've known each other since they, since they were in their 20s. So this is over, oh, well over a decade of Tom Sandoval being so dismissive and gaslighting and mean and divisive when it comes to Katie. I get it. Katie is an acquired taste, you know? But I do think the way that Tom has poison people against her, talked bad about her, inserted himself in her relationship with Shorts, in her marriage to Shorts, has been disgusting and despicable. And the way that he tr has treated Katie systematically for years and methodically for years, I understand why Katie is 10 toes down on hating him. And I think her hatred for him is more rooted in what he's done to her and to her relationship and marriage with Tom Schwartz. So I think that's why Katie is so aligned with Ariana. Not so much because her and Ariana are really deep friends, but right now they have a lot of mutually invested interest. The future of something about her and the deep-seated hatred of Tom Sandoval. So it's almost like... um. It's like that Cardi B song, you know, this B hate me and this B hate me. And sometimes they link up and they become friends. Like to me, that's Ariana and Katie. They both hate Sandoval. So they linked up to became friends. You see what I'm saying? Like that's kind of what it is. It's the mutual hatred for him. But I think Katie's hatred is more steeped into what he did to her. And I, and I thought the last episode... <sighs> I felt really bad for Katie because I feel like she hasn't healed yet in a place to receive Tom's apology. And I, I that made me feel really bad because I have my issues with Sandoval. We get it. He's a narcissist. He's blah, blah, blah. We've talked about it ad nauseum. We get it. This is not me defending Tom by any means. But when Tom came in the room and he was trying to apologize to Katie about, you know, inserting himself in the divorce and all of that stuff, I could see that Katie, the wound is still so fresh for her that she couldn't even let herself. And even when she was on Wap Shoppin's Live, like, apologies is its words. I need actions. Like, stop with the nonsense. Anybody with emotional intelligence knows that words are meaningful and powerful. And for someone to say, I did this to you and it was wrong and I'm sorry, is extremely powerful. Again, I'm not talking about when people just do it performatively, like, oh my God, I'm so sorry I cheated on you. I'm going to cheat on you again. I'm sorry. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like actual vulnerability in communication with someone. But I think that Katie is still so hurt by it. And I understand it I because she hasn't, this would be the first step in her healing anything with Tom Sandoval. So I get it. She couldn't even allow herself to go there with him that she that she had to deflect. And the way she did that was when he was like, I wanted to apologize to you. You know, we are going through, through the divorce. We didn't need the extra stuff. I think that hit her so hard. She couldn't let herself go there. So she started to, well, you know, well, what you did to Ariana and like you shouldn't be having parties here and what you did to her and you need to show her more respect. She couldn't sit in it. She couldn't sit in her own discomfort and hurt and need for his, for his apology. She couldn't actually let herself sit in it because I think it would have hurt too much. So instead she deflected from it because that moment should not have been about Ariana at all. It should have been about 
Katie receiving Tom's apology. But I think she's still so in the hurt of it, which makes sense because if this is the first time he's coming to her and saying he's sorry, it's on camera, it's unexpected. She doesn't have that resolve with him. I get that, you know, I'm not expecting her to be completely evolved in that moment. I get it. I think it's a very natural response for where she's at. But that moment should have been about her saying to Tom, thank you for that apology because this is how you hurt me. But I don't think she was ready for it. And so instead of sitting in with him, she deflected to, oh, you're you're throwing parties with random with Ariana and this is just words. And to me, it just was more indicative of not Katie being bitter, not her being miserable, not her being mean. To me, it's more of Katie being still in a lot of hurt. I saw a very sad, hurt person. And again, when we talk about women archetypes, because Katie has a mouth, because Katie stands up for herself, because she has a certain disposition, a lot of times people don't see her hurt as hurt. They see it as bitter. They see it as, they don't see her sad. They see it as miserable because she's a certain type of woman. Pretty sure if she was like, oh my God, blah, 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 type of, you know, docile woman, it would be like, oh my God, she's so hurt. She's so sad because that's palpable, right? We live, we still live in a patriarchal system where certain type of women, their pain is perceived in a certain type of way. So I saw Katie not as bitter and miserable. I saw her as a woman in a lot of pain. That's really what I saw. And I, and I, and I see a woman still mourning the loss of her marriage. That's really what I saw. And so I felt really bad for her because I think that that's a lot of pain to work through and resolve. But this is another reason why, but, it, but here's another reason why Katie is misstepping with aligning with Ariana. Who was the person that said to Tom Sandoval, what you did to Katie was wrong and you need to apologize to her? Who said that to Tom? I'll wait. Was it Tom Schwartz, her ex-husband? Eh. Was it Ariana, her new best friend and business partner? Eh. Was it Lala, warrior woman? Eh. It was Sheena. Sheena was the one who went to Tom and said, the way you've treated Katie is messed up. And you need to go and make it right and apologize to her. Sheena was the one who said that to Tom. And that's when Tom got his stuff together and actually apologized to her. Do I believe a lot of what comes out of Sandoval's mouth? No. But I do think that for him, his personality type, I'm not a doctor, I don't diagnose, whatever personality type he is, I do think for his capability, because people have differing emotional capabilities, I think for his emotional capability, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I believed him. And I do think for his capacity, he was being genuine when he said that. I do. I believed him. I don't believe a lot of his crocodile tears. I don't believe a lot of his performative stuff. I don't believe a lot of his hypocrisy and deflection and narcissism. But I'm not a person that's just going to say, I think everything out of his mouth is a lie. That's not true. People have different layers and people are different at different times. I actually believe that he was being genuine to what his capacity is being genuine is. But the person who made that happen was Sheena. But Katie will, you know, dismiss and, you know, shade Sheena all day long. And while she's kissing Ariana's butt all day long, when has Ariana had your back ever in life, Katie? I'll wait. Not with something about her. That doesn't look like that's going to open to me. When did Ariana ever say, hey, Tom, lay off a of Katie? I'll wait. It was Sheena. It was Sheena. So.
So mm, 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 mm. I think with this situation, Katie, it's just time to cut bait. I think you either need to, either way, I think you need to dissolve the partnership and either go at it yourself or find a new partner. But I don't think it's going to work out with you and Ariana. Because this article told us everything we needed to know without without saying it. So your store isn't like it's opening anytime soon. Anytime soon. And Katie, wake up. Ariana doesn't like you. Okay? You would be you would do far better linking up with 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 um flip flop Sheena. <laughs> I mean, Sheena gets a bad rap. I actually like Sheena. I, I there's some times where I think she's been messy, particularly with Brock. But I do think Sheena overall, this is a thing. I think, you know what it is about Sheena? I think Sheena has a good heart. And I do think that Sheena is one of the most transparent people on the show. Even when she's like, I don't even think she's so much a flip-flopper. I think it's more of like a people-pleasing out of lack of self-esteem and a lack of self-worth. Because when you're a people-pleaser, it's usually because you don't have enough confidence in yourself to think that you're allowed to create boundaries with people. Some people use people pleasing in a manipulative way. Tom Shorts, I'm looking at you. But some people people please in a way because they lack self-esteem. And I think that's more Sheena. I think Sheena doesn't have a lot of self-worth and a lot of self-esteem. And so it comes across as being a flip-flopper. But I think it's really her way of, of belonging because she feels like she's never really belonged, if that makes sense. So my heart goes out to Katie and Sheena, Ariana. You just got to fix your attitude. Nobody is jealous of you, Ariana. You, I think everybody is genuinely happy for you. I think Katie's happy for her. I think, I think Sheena and Lala, I think they're happy for her. You can be happy for someone and still want to check them for how they're moving doesn't mean you're jealous of them. But a lot of times people who are moving a type of way will say you're jealous of me because they don't want to admit that they're moving kind of grimy. See what I'm saying? So that's just kind of how I feel about it. So I want to know what you guys think, you know, put it down below. What do you think something about her is ever going to open? Do you think it's not going to open? Do you think Ariana is really Katie's friend. What do you think is going on? Do you think Ariana and Shorts will get back together? Not Ariana and Shorts. Do you think Katie and Shorts will ever get back together? Do you think Katie and Tom Sandoval will ever make up? Put it down below. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. So with that, let's 